going on, people? What's going on? It's your boy. Yes, your boy is Brass Tax, baby. You already know. You already know. Well, if you subscribe to me, you are. If you haven't subscribed to me and you've been listening, better subscribe right now. Good stuff to come. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of changes coming to the Brass Tax channel. Uh, what I'd like to call an evolution. And some major changes, but I will keep you posted. How's everyone week been? It's been a great week for gaming. Just on the side, but we've got to do some housekeeping. You know how it is. You know, you know how this goes now with my 4K reviews. I like to talk my shit first. Resident Evil Village was out last Friday. Guess what? I finished it in two sittings. That game was amazing. Uh, I should have done a review on it, but I couldn't be bothered. Maybe I should have. I had a really good time. One of the best games out this year for sure. If you haven't picked it up, I seriously recommend you do. BRA55TAX. That's my gamer tag. Add me if you guys wanna. I have still yet to pick up Mass Effect. I've played all three. And they're still fairly fresh in my head. So I thought I'd wait. I'd wait a while. Because if I pick it up now, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna stay in my collection for like a couple of months. So I thought I'd wait to see what happens, but I will get that. I need to get that one for sure. But that's that. Listen, let's hope this is a trend with Arnie movies. I love Arnie. He is the guy for sure. Let's hope we end up getting True Lies. That didn't even make it to Blu-ray, damn it. That didn't even come out on Blu-ray. I don't know what James Cameron is doing, but he needs to do something. I need True Lies, Eraser. And I really need them to do something about that that abomination that was Terminator 2. They need to rescan it, do whatever it takes to get a good 4K release out. And preferably, preferably the director's cut. Because let's be honest, the current 4K Blu-ray of T2 is an absolute mess. So let's talk Last Action Hero. Another favorite of mine from Arnie. Big fan of the movie, enjoyed it thoroughly. That I watched it back in the day in VHS. Eventually, as all things do, except True Lies, it migrated over to 1080p Blu-ray. And I've got to say, it's one of the better looking 1080p Blu-rays I've seen. It looks really good on 1080p. Really good. And uh, very, very happy with the full HD transfer. Really liked it. So I was curious to see what they're going to do with the 4K disc. Because... I know it's Sony, Sony have a good reputation with this stuff, so I wasn't too worried, but I was just thinking, it's an older movie, so I don't know. I mean, they have been a little hit and miss on some of the older titles. So I guess we are gonna find out. Listen, I just gotta say, I geeked out when the T-1000 walked past, and Sharon Stone basic instinct, god oh, damn. Shit made my day, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think Charles Dance is probably at his best as, ba as a bad guy, don't you think? Game of Thrones, you know, and then you got this as well, with the lens in his eye, very cool. Very cool bad guy, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's a good concept, very fresh, very unique, and I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And Arnie was at his peak at this point, so yeah, he was doing his thing. And has anyone seen a police station like that? Has anyone? Because I haven't. I've been arrested before. I might just have to get arrested again if it's a police station like that. You've got latex everywhere and not an unattractive person inside. It's my kind of world. I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. I told you about the 1080p Blu-ray and how good it looks. So how's a 4K stack up? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's get through some technical specifications first. This seems to be a trend. So native 4K DI, everyone rejoice. Do you know how many times I've seen in the comment section, well, listen, it's a 2K DI, guess what? I ain't gonna buy it. Listen, some of these 2K DIs are in my top 10. Just like, but this is a 4K DI. So that's great news all around. HDR 10, no Dolby Vision, unfortunately, but what can you do? Yeah, you've got the black bars, so it's not taking up that full 77 inch real estate that I like to see. But you know, it is what it is. Dolby Atmos. It's 130 minutes and it's a 100 gig disc. I like those 100 gig discs. I think most 4K Blu rays by default should be 100 gigs. That's what I'm saying. May 17th release date, couple of days, people. So I guess you do want to know how this stacks up. So let's just get straight to it. 
The 1080p, as I've said, this is the third time I'm saying this now. I don't want an applause. I just want you to listen. Third time I'm saying this. 1080p looked fantastic. Fantastic. And the 4K is a nice upgrade from the regular Blu-ray for sure. As present in the 1080p, in the 4K also, you've got grain. It's not overpowering. I know a lot of people don't like grain, but it's, it's, it's not going to bother you as much. But you're going to know it's there. It's a nice filmic look. Now, as soon as the Columbia logo fades to black, you're treated to some nice inky deep black levels, which makes sense because the opening shot is a nighttime shot. You got police cars everywhere. You got sirens in the air. Arnie is introduced by walking on top of the cop cars. You notice the jeans, the texture in the jeans, the snake skin boots. I think they're snake skin, but you're noticing a lot more from the very offset. Now, once again, it's not going to win any awards for best 4K Blu-ray ever but it looks good and the differences are appreciable. Now you've got Danny trying to convince Jack Slater that he is in fact Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? you got him trying to convince him, takes him to Blockbuster and then you got Stallone as the Terminator, right? In the Blockbuster store, you can actually see the spines of the VHS cassettes as Arnie's talking. It was a little fuzzy on the 1080p, but over here you can see it clearly. I can tell you which movies were there. Field of Dreams, JFK, Blade Runner. I can name quite a few. It's like you, you could pause it right there, play a mini game whilst you're watching this movie. How fun is that? Some of the dark indoors shots can look a little soft at times and it's a bit more grain heavy than the bright outdoor exterior shots, but it still looks great. The reflections of the windows and the buildings are more pronounced, textures in clothing. You're noticing a few more uh, wrinkles and a bit more wear and tear on Arnie's jacket. Close-ups even reveal some makeup I think Arnie was wearing during this movie. I'm almost beginning to sound like the old me, but I will say the latex in 4K is very satisfying. So in terms of picture quality, I wouldn't call it a, a night and day difference, but I will call it a, a nice appreciable upgrade over the 1080p for sure. Another thing that the upgrade in resolution does is it adds depth. So you've definitely got more depth here, got more three dimensional space between characters, uh, less flatter than the 1080p version. HDR and the wider color palette also help this movie tremendously, especially uh, the primary colors seem to have been boosted somewhat without looking oversaturated. For instance, you've got the scene, the, <laughs> the funeral scene, that was funny as hell. I mean, it's mostly red and blue going on there and it really does pop a lot more than the 1080p. And um, there's a, a vibrancy, there's a luminance to, to this movie that the 1080p is just missing. Now, the HDR is not going to win any awards. The panties won't drop. You can throw a few ones at the strippers, but you ain't getting no lap dance. Do you get what I'm saying? Although the blacks are inky and dark, on the flip side, there's nothing blinding. Now, I reviewed, uh, my last review was Speed, and, you know, the colors in that are fairly muted. You know, so it's more of a, a filmic look. This isn't like that. The colors are bold and punchier than the 1080p. And definitely a more saturated affair. But nothing that's gonna blow you off. Wait, is that the right way? Is that the right terminology? Blow you off? No, I'm thinking of something entirely different. Now you tell your girl to sit on the woofer and see what happens. You know what's gonna happen? She's definitely gonna appreciate the upgrade in visuals, but she's also gonna appreciate the upgrade in sound. The Atmos in this is a nice, nice upgrade. It's definitely not gonna win an Atmos Brass Tax Award, but it sounds very good, very bassy, very present, very atmospheric. And it's definitely a house shaker. The first thing I noticed immediately was the sound stage. Very wide sound stage. I'm hearing music behind me, I'm hearing music above me. Explosions are going to shake the room. One thing that definitely felt a lot more potent in this Atmos mix was definitely the music. Definitely the music. The music felt more enveloping. Dialogue front and center where it should be crystal clear. And you can't help but bop your head to the hip-hop beat playing as soon as they enter the police station. Love that. You know the bit where they see Sharon Stone and the T-1000. So sound's a good upgrade too. I mean, the bootie is definitely going to have a smiley face emoji on it. I ain't going to lie to you. And there we have it, people. Good movie. I'm going to give the visuals a Nate. Because I think for, for, for a movie of its time, it looks damn good. And it's definitely a step up over the 1080p Blu-ray. And as far as the audio goes, I like the Atmos mix. It's not a panty dropper per se. But you will appreciate the surround sound. Maybe more so than the overheads. Because to me personally, there wasn't that much overhead. I mean, it hit. 
but I would have liked a little bit more. So I'm going to give the audio like a 7.5. I'm going to leave some Amazon links for you guys so you can go through that to... Uh, to pre-order this if you haven't already if you're on the fence definitely the best way to watch it i've seen this movie on netflix i've seen it on itunes and hd i've seen it on blu-ray and hd and by far the 4k blu-ray in terms of sound and pq is the best way to watch it not jaw dropping but definitely an appreciable upgrade for sure all right guys if you haven't subscribed you should if you want to become a member support the channel then you should and if you don't want to then you don't want to 4k rockstar you already know.